Okay, so this is our new house. I'm gonna show you a little bit of it. I'll see you up there. Ice-T and Coco Austin have long been one of those couples we just love to watch. Whether it was on the reality show Ice Loves Coco or just over Instagram, they're always funny and eccentric. On the next. On the next. <laughs> on the next, Ice and Coco. If you've ever wondered where the pair calls home these days, back in 2012 they started building a five bedroom mansion in Edgewater, New Jersey, which they ended up moving into a few years ago and still live happily with their daughter Chanel. We'll take a look at Ice T and Coco's custom New Jersey mansion, their previous penthouse and more. We even found some of the real estate listings. Long lasting marriages in Hollywood aren't too common, however it seems that Tracy Merrow aka Ice T and his wife Nicole aka Coco Austin Merrow have somehow beat those odds. The rapper turned actor met his model wife when he was already 42 and she was 20 years younger, but it just ended up working and these days their relationship has been going strong for more than 18 years. Ice-T is a musician, rapper, songwriter, actor and more who began his career in the 80s with underground rap. These days though, he's best known for his TV gigs like starring on Law & Order SVU since 2000 and his true crime show Ice Cold Blood most recently. Despite his notoriety, Coco had no idea who he was when they first met back in the day. Coco's career began as a model, specializing in swimsuit, lingerie and other sexy shoots, eventually working events at the Playboy Mansion too. After meeting Ice-T, the two became a couple almost immediately, and aside from their reality show, Coco found herself a lot of other work over the years, from posing in Playboy to guest appearances on multiple TV shows and more. Ice-T and Coco have survived years of marriage and show no signs of splitting up anytime soon despite any pesky rumors. Instead, they embrace their unconventional relationship and let it make them stronger. At the time of this recording, Ice-T has an estimated net worth of $60 million, and that doesn't include Coco's either. So they're still living a life of luxury. Hey guys, it's Karen, so we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at where Ice-T and Coco call home like their current mansion in New Jersey that has it all from a shoe sanctuary to a man cave to freak zone bedroom and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post. You can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Ice Cube and Eddie Murphy and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. A few years back, Ice-T and Coco listed their famous New Jersey penthouse that was featured on their reality show Ice Loves Coco since they were moving into their new family home. The condo was located in North Bergen, an area in the northern part of Hudson County, New Jersey, and according to the listing, it had views of the New York City skyline. They bought the place in 2005 for $1.5 million and listed it about a decade later for just about $1 million, at a 400 k loss from what they paid. After the many custom add-ons the couple made to the condo, it ended up becoming more costly. For instance, records show taxes on the place are over $19,000 per year, while Ice-T and Coco's new freestanding family home costs only eleven dollars k Inside the couple's previous condo is spanned over 2,100 square feet of living space with spacious double height ceilings in the main areas and plenty of custom built-ins. There were two beds and three baths and massive floor to ceiling windows throughout. The first floor offers an open plan with Brazilian cherry hardwood floors, massive custom drapes, and common rooms like a formal dining area and double height living room. There's also a kitchen with stainless steel appliances, onyx countertops and matching floors, as well as two private balconies and a private terrace in the unit. On the second floor of the penthouse, the bedrooms also have floor to ceiling windows. Although there were three bedrooms at the time of purchase, one was reportedly transformed to an even larger walk-in closet, which I'm sure was for storing Coco's famous shoe collection while the couple lived here. The marble master bath comes with a jacuzzi tub and spa lake features. They also created a windowless bathroom sized space behind a paneled wall in the living room which was an office slash music studio or man cave for ice. And elsewhere in the condo they installed a tanning booth for Coco and a glowing blue aquarium. Other features of ice tea and Coco's previous luxury condo included a home automation system throughout, entertainment lighting, and a dormant building including Included a gym. The agents representing the property at the time it was up for sale claimed that it was renovated with a blatant disregard to cost 
and that the sale price included the Ralph Lauren bed, sound system, and drapes, which likely cost more than the average car. In total, the penthouse had 300k worth of upgrades or more, but Ice-T and Coco weren't able to make any of that back. At least they had a bigger and better waterfront family home to move on to. It's our house, and our, our, our emails get filled up like, did you guys ever finish the house? Did you ever complete the house? Yeah, that's what our house it when, like? it, when it was started. Yeah, that's a picture. When we what, first bought it. That was from ISO's Coco. That's how it looked. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you what the house looks like now complete. So we're going to roll tape. Segway. In 2012, Ice-T and Coco initiated building an expansive multi-level home in Edgewater, New Jersey, just a stone's throw away from their previous penthouse that was expected to be completed by the end of that year. Although they didn't move in as soon as they thought, the couple eventually did and still call it home to this day. Of course, they needed somewhere bigger and more family-oriented since they welcomed their daughter Chanel just a few years back. Coco often shows their family mansion on Instagram, so we've seen the inside of the home more than once, and her and Ice-T have given a mini tour on TV in the past as well. Apparently their current mansion costs them over 2.1 million and is located in Edgewater, New Jersey, which is a neighborhood along the Hudson River. The couple's property overlooks the water and is located on the cliffs of Edgewater. At the time of purchase, the contemporary mansion was not yet completed and still under construction, but their realtor reported they unexpectedly found their perfect home. Inside the house spans about 4,200 square feet of customized living space over four floors with five beds and five or more bathrooms. The house sits on top of a gated and heated driveway, offering Ice and Coco plenty of privacy and security on their lawn. Inside, there's an elevator and 12-zone geothermal heating and cooling system. The main area was designed in a modern style with an open plan and spacious living and dining space that also offers a fireplace and full wall of floor-to-ceiling windows. So, who needs a table like this? This is just a big gadget, and it actually comes with a remote control. So when you hit the button, the table opens back up. Now, you can only have stuff like this if you got a cool wife. Ice-T and Coco decided to show fans their new home on TV because everyone was so curious after their reality show. The rapper turned actor first explained that they mixed feminine and masculine vibes in the design and it was evident in the different rooms of the home. One of the cool things about this house and the way we design, we kind of mix the feminine vibe with the masculine vibe. First thing you see as soon as you come through the door is this aquarium dead center in the living room. And as you can see, this little guy, is, his name's Skimbo. Coco names the fish. Yeah. They also showed off the fancy fish tank in the main living area. Another aspect the couple emphasized was their house was dog friendly and their dogs were allowed to sit on the couches, furniture, and wherever they want. Sounds like a lot like mine. I said, we're not the stay off the couch type of people. The dogs are a family. We've got clean dogs though. All the furniture, set up so dogs can get on it. We're not stay off the couch type people. The dogs are our family. We got clean dogs though. The couple's bedroom has been called the freak zone as well as one shade of black because almost everything is black. Okay, so this is the freak zone. <laughs> now this is Ice and I's room and we literally like, spend hours and hours here. And if it wasn't dark enough already, Ice and Coco also installed black shades that go all the way to the bottom of the floor. They also have an 80 inch TV and walkout balcony here with views of the city and river. This is our bedroom. And this is the bedroom we call one shade of black. Oh, you heard of 50 shades of gray? This is the one shade of black room. We did it all in black mirrors. When it's dark, the walls just kind of disappear into infinity. Like you're floating. Okay, one thing that I need is total blackout. I have an insomnia problem. What we did is we did shades that actually go all the way to the bottom of the floor. And it's starting to get more sexy. Their bedroom is Ice's chill out spa and he said, when I get home from work, I go up to the bedroom, watch all my TV shows, chill out, and our baby Chanel and our dog are usually in bed with us too. The attached master bath is also something else. Coco calls their tub the disco fever tub as it has colored lights, which probably makes for a relaxing experience. We got the bathroom. We got like colored lights in the bathtub. It's I like, call it disco fever tub. Yeah, if you're really feeling freaky, three people can fit in that tub. Of course, one of the features of the mansion has got to be Coco's 550 square foot closet, aka the Coco Cave or Coco store on the upper level. Ready for the choir? 
Yes, this is the Coco Store. Well, I like to call the Coco Store because it, it feels like a store. I wake up in the morning and I go, okay, what am I gonna wear today? Well, let me take a little, you know, gander around the Coco Store. We enter to the closet area. I'm gonna take you to the shoe sanctuary in a second. But this is the Coco Cave slash cave. And um, this is where I spend most of my time. I, I actually like sleep on this floor right where you are standing. And I just looking up at the, uh, yes, it's animal print people. Yes, you've seen animal print. It took three tries to get this carpet. Not everybody makes animal print carpet, believe it or not. Apart from her huge collection of clothes, sunglasses, purses, and separate area just for her shoes, one of the most striking parts of the closet is the animal print carpet. Although Coco loves her closet, in an interview she said her favorite room in the home is actually the laundry room of all places. She said, We have our own huge red washer and dryer, and when he's downstairs playing an Xbox, usually you'll find me doing the laundry. Honestly, I too find the laundry relaxing, so I feel that. Other features of Ice-T and Coco's New Jersey family home is the infinity pool out back with waterfall and spa, which also offers views across the Hudson River to the New York City skyline. This is our outdoor area. This is actually the dog's outdoor area. Wanna go in the pool? Get it! Not to mention, Ice has his own man cave in the form of a six-car garage, which he's proud of. Okay, this is for your car freaks out there. You got the range, you got the ghost right here. You got Coco's Fisker. So let's go to the coolest part of this whole thing. There's cars underneath. There's another car under that one, and there's another car under that one. Let's send them back down. Bam. What bends? I don't have a bend. It's good for the IRS, too. We can see some of his impressive car collection, including his Rolls Royce Ghost, Range Rover, Coco's luxury car, and more. There's a special lifter elevator that hides more cars underneath the ones parked on the ground level, easily being able to switch them with the push of a button. So that's all I got for the iconic couple Ice-T and Coco Austin, where they call home in Edgewater. Despite living in New Jersey for what seems like forever, let's not forget Ice used to have a bachelor pad in LA above the Sunset Strip that he owned since the 90s. His famous Sunset Plaza drive home would be featured on MTV Cribs and more, but once the pair got hitched, Ice and Coco sold it in 2003 for $2 million. After moving to New Jersey, we've taken a look at both a penthouse they shared which was featured on their show Ice Loves Coco and their current family mansion. Clearly they were able to build their five bedroom custom dream home and I don't think they plan on moving anytime soon. From the Coco store to Ice's fancy garage or their one shade of black bedroom, what was your favorite spot in the house? Or which of the couple's homes did you prefer? I love their current home and I like how they made it fun and unique in typical Ice tea and Coco fashion. Any woman would be jealous of Coco's massive walk-in closet including me and I also love their infinity pool out back. Let me know what you guys saw in those comments down below as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and you want to chat and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!